Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. How many times you found yourself at a supercharger waiting to uh, charge your car and you just, you know, bored? You're looking for something to do. Or, for example, you're on a long road trip and you have some passengers in your car, which is again, you know, might be not as entertained as they possibly could be in your car because, well, they simply cannot really do anything. As you're aware, uh, Tesla entertainment uh, features like Netflix, uh, YouTube, or uh, some games, which is not really that advanced of a games, but still, as soon as you switch to uh, drive gear or reverse, any like moving gear, uh, it immediately uh, disappears and you cannot use it while driving and I understand the reason behind it It's uh, most importantly safety obviously and you know regulations. However, I myself very frequent road tripper and uh, As much as I'm okay with everything that's happening in my car My wife is very bored because you know sometimes we're driving for a couple days and uh there's not much to do, only the supercharger and as soon as we start watching some episode on Netflix after 20-30 minutes we're good to go and you know we cannot even really finish an episode so we kind of have to stop and it's not really a viewing experience you want. So today I found a perfect solution for all of those issues and also uh, for the people who are trying to upgrade their MCU 1 to MCU 2 just so that they can watch Netflix, YouTube and you know play a couple extra games. I have a huge news for you today. Stick around and let me show you what I got. Now, the great part of this, this is not limited to gaming, although it is extremely impressive to play like GTA 5 or Battlefield or any game for that matter uh, in your Tesla while driving, again, for passengers only, but the, it, it doesn't stop there. You can uh, watch Netflix, you can watch Hulu, you can uh, use third-party applications like Waze. Opportunities are absolutely unlimited here and you can use it you know, uh, safely, obviously, to your advantage as much as you like. Its installation is fairly simple and uh, I'm gonna talk about how I made all this uh, setup possible in a Tesla uh, in my next video. So please make sure to subscribe and, uh, you know, click the like button if you find this content interesting to yourself. And I'll see you in the next video where I'm gonna walk through every single detail how exactly to make this work in your Tesla. Alright, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.